up, Wednesday night TV lovers? It Ooh. is Lauren Mayhew. Got that out just in time. How's it going, everyone? Good morning. I am Jerob, and we are here to discuss last night on, as always. And okay. last night we have what? Oh, freak out! What? Uh, 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 season freak premiere, out. freak out! Yeah, yeah, season, <laughs> yeah, season premiere of, of, of another. Prank show? Are you over yeah. the prank shows? Are you into the prank shows? I'm kind of. I mean, I'm. It depends on the prank, right? Like right. some really hit it, some miss. But I. That's exactly what I said to you earlier. I feel like it's punk rebooted. There's nothing original about this show. If you liked punk, you will definitely like Freak Out because it's the exact same show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> minus Ashton Kutcher, Ashen pretty much. I did like. <laughs> Uh, the, the first prank they pulled uh, last night was, was on this girl whose friend forgot to wake her up on the beach so she got this really bad yeah. sunburn. Oh my god, this one was so gross. Oh, me it out. was so oh good. God, oh so, god. So, so the other girl goes into this tanning booth and they rig everything mm -hmm. to make it look like a girl gets stuck in the tanning yeah. booth. Oh god, oh god. When they pry open the tanning booth, smoke's coming up. They did a great job on her makeup. The oh, girl that, that, that they're pranking is just freaking out. The girl Blood. from the booth sits up Spine. and it peels oh, her the back skin. of her skin off of her back. Oh and my you god! Can see down to her spine. It, it was, was goopy to the table. But it was crazy to me how the it girl was, was just sitting there being like, "Do something." I'm like, "How do you not like in, if no one else is doing something, immediately pick up your phone and dial 911?" Like, I mean, I guess I don't know. I've never been in a situation yeah, where I've seen someone's spine. I think the adrenaline's yeah. going, especially like they had her like turn the knob, so I think she felt. Part of yeah. like responsible. So, oh, yeah. call the police and be like, "Yeah, that me. was on me." Yeah, you know, she was that's just true. That's freaking really, she, out. She probably was freaking out that it was maybe her fault. Um, the uh, second thing, yeah. you know, the second prank that like went on ended up in like an all-on girl fight, which I was I had a lot of fun last night googling girl fight images. Fox. Yes. Yeah, this, this is this is kind of a hot girl fight. There's like yeah. long thank hair you. going on. You're welcome, Jared. I, I thought thank you'd you. appreciate that. That was definitely for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, literally, if you like girl fights, Freak Out is also the show for you. I have a feeling that that is the first of many that is going yeah. to happen on that show. I, especially <laughs> nowadays, like people with the pranks, I feel like it's just their reaction is just to go at it physically. Like the second yeah. skit on that with the date. I didn't think it went well. I felt like the girl knew that it was uh, something was being put on. I thought so too. I definitely thought so too. It, it kind of like when you looked at her face, you felt like she knows. Isn't that, like the guy was like choking, and she was just looking at him like, "You're fine, dude." But think like, about the third you're prank. <laughs> you're at a house. You're helping someone move. Yep. They step out. The police come. They hand you two bulletins of two guys who are missing. Then they leave. Like, I thought the cops were going to be the prank. They weren't. They leave. And then the bad guys show up to the house where they showed them the photos, yeah. had them running across the, the roof. roof yeah. They were free. That guy was it's having also, a heart attack was in having, there. But it, it also seems very coincidental, right? Like, it just seems like one of those things five minutes prior to, like, the guys showing right. up, the policemen are like, oh, if you see these guys in orange jumpsuits, watch out, you know? Yeah. And, and you know, I feel now, like, again, going back to, to all the, the punk shows and the prank shows that, yeah. that have been going on, especially Especially with that new celebrity one, where uh, that one actress mm -hmm. has to walk into the store and just say whatever yeah. she whatever she doesn't say. I think they're just so affordable for studios. Yeah, to they make really are. They really a, are. A nice prank, but I love pranking people. Do you, I mean, you're Don't you're worry. a little prankster. You're you always know, out there messing know, with folks. No, do not leave your coffee or water around this one. She definitely likes to pull the pranks on you. You know it. I'm a big prankster. I'm a fan of that stuff. So uh, let's talk about the next show, uh, Big Time. You checked out this show. You wanted to tell me about it. Another season premiere, Big Time in Hollywood, Florida. Yes, Floridians ourselves. That's right. We, High five. Absolutely. What? Low riders. <laughs> um, season uh, season premiere. That was Ben Stiller's new show that yeah. he's executive producing. Uh, I thought it, I thought it was actually really funny. I thought it was different. Um, it, it, this episode had two had uh, two brothers who were being finally kicked out of their house by their parents, yeah. which I feel a lot of kids sit at home and they feel their parents owe them the world right. and then some. Right. But these parents had had enough, so they, they agreed to kick out the like, kids. Done. And these Training kids, wheels off. And the kids decide to trick their parents into some kind of drug cartel kidnapping ring where they, they wanted the parents to give them $20,000 in order for them to move out. And they, about the kids hustling their own parents and you know, being disrespectful to the dad or whatever. But, and you said that Ben Stiller actually shows up in, yeah, the, in the episode, Ben right? Stiller plays this recovering heroin addict who's also this actor who kind of just goes around and plays these dark, crazy characters and always getting into trouble with them. It's um, crazy. Once again, we see these massive movie stars, you know, like Empire and stuff as well. Central. On, on Comedy, Comedy Central. Central. That's crazy. Like massive A-list movie stars doing TV. So. But what I do like about that is, is Ben Stiller executive producing 
And he's going to throw his face in there. Like, you know, I, I yes. like that he's taking cool. an active yeah. role really and really trying to get it going. But you know what's going to happen with that? It's like, you know, when a guy like Ben Stiller does a show, I'm sure he's going to bring in his buddies. So I can, I think that you could expect to see some other guest stars from some meaningful Absolutely. people. Absolutely. And the big time in Hollywood, Florida. What, where were we for this audition? Yeah. <laughs> I've spent my whole life sweating it out in Florida, being ripped apart by mosquitoes and cockroaches. We've earned it. And now, and now <laughs> they're doing a show in my backyard and I'm sitting in Los Angeles paying eight times the rent wondering why? Why? <laughs> so true. <laughs> um, speaking of working our little tail feathers off, uh, let's move on to Workaholics. Yes! Workaholics was a super fun episode last night. I really enjoyed it. Um, the whole episode is basically about um, the guy Adam uh, losing his mojo, if you will, and kind yeah. of being a, a Debbie Downer, which I found an awesome picture from Saturday Night Live, Live of Debbie That's Downer. That's my girl. Yeah. Rachel Dratch yeah. in the house. <laughs> Any point to put Rachel Dratch on the show, yeah, you know, I'm in. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes I just Google things, and I'm like, who, how can I get her in there? And, you know, that's how it worked out. Workaholics is, is another show that... You just really have to have to dip your cap to it. I mean, mm -hmm. here are three here are three guys, actually four guys. The four guys on the show last night were the four guys who wrote the show, the four yeah. guys who came up with the show. Comedy Central buys the whole thing, and it's just it's, it's almost like it's always sunny in Philly, where they just they came up with it, and it's so much fun to watch the show grow, and it's proven to keep going yeah. year after year. Yeah. After it's after been season, seasons. Season. It's been a lot oh, of yeah. seasons of the show. I ran into those guys at Comic Con. They're they're fun dudes. Uh, How cool, by the way, too, to like create a show with your friends and then be able to do that every day with your besties, right. hanging out. Right, the and best. and the tone of the show is so over the top. I mean, yeah. these guys are getting drunk. They're, yeah, they're going out everything. with chicks. Yeah. They, I mean, they have huge, crazy stunts that they're all doing. Like, yeah. and, and, it's all, and when you watch it, you almost feel like, this is a show that I've written with my friends 150 times, but never had the mm, yeah. to put to, it on to paper do it, to do it. and bring you it know, forward. One of the things that I want to mention is like, you know, with these best guy friends, like all coming together and doing this show, is it made me think of like my best friends, like growing up and like creating something. Do you remember? Well, you probably don't. You're a dude. Why would you remember this? But I, I Googled <laughs> another image of this BFF necklaces. It was like the biggest thing in the entire world. When you were like in fifth grade, you had to pick out your best yeah. friend and you had to pick out like necklaces. And then when you came to school, you would give the other half to your bestie, and like you would just oh, sit yeah. there. Like when the girl would come up, you'd be like, "Oh my god, is she gonna pick me? Is she gonna pick me? Is she gonna pick me?" And then you wore like sometimes, like if you were cool, you maybe had like five BFFs. Hold on, hold on, Lord, Lord, five you necklaces. still have them. I, but you you would... still have the parts. I bet you at your house, if I went in there right now next to all your bling bling, there would be a couple of the, the little puzzle that says so, friends and then the other half best yeah. from all the ones you've gotten you, over the you years. You know what's funny that's like hysterical is that, um, you know, some girls would actually rack up like multiple as if you could have like, it, it's kind of counterintuitive because it says best friend, which implies one. All right, well, what <laughs> However, you have like five necklaces on. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's the same thing when you're, when you're like, this is my favorite song. Right. When right. you say that, you say it 15, 16 more times. But right. yeah, yeah, yeah. The best friend chains. I, I, I remember I'm going to bring that back though, man. Like, as like, an, like, yeah, as like so. a girl in like her mid 20s, I'm just going to be, I'm going to come out with it and I'm just going to give like my bestie. I'm going to be like, yo, BFF necklace. Hold wear on. it. Did you just say you would give it to someone else? Because I feel like we're co-hosts on this show, <laughs> and I don't know why I wouldn't be your bestie. That's true, that's I've true. never gotten the other half of that's a best true, friend that's necklace. True. Oh, I'm wow. a good friend. You are a really good friend. You're, you're an excellent friend. Jerry was an excellent friend, guys. I don't believe you. I don't <laughs> even believe you. At least the guys on Workaholic, when their friend was down, they went through everything that's they true. could to make them feel better. That's true, that's true. Expect Put their the cells on the line for their friend. You, I can't even get the other half of a necklace. I don't, I'm not saying spoiler alert, but you know, maybe expect something special next Thursday. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tune in next Thursday. See if I'm wearing the other half of a best friend necklace. Guys, check us out. Last night on, thank you for tuning in. I'm alongside the beautiful Lauren Mayhew. Hit her up on Twitter, at LC Mayhew. That's me. <laughs> I'm Jerob at Jerobex. We'll see you guys next week for some more fun. Bye. Signing off.